We all know the deep secrets behind the vault tech vaults, how they're often brutal experiments that end with most of their dwellers dead or wishing they were. Some of them, though, weren't so bad. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the 5 happiest Fallout vaults. Number 5. Vault 19 Very little is known about what went on inside Vault 19. Like most vaults, it had an experiment that the dwellers knew nothing about. A psychological experiment, the vault's dwellers were divided into two groups upon entry, a red group and a blue group, and there was to be as little contact between the groups as possible, thanks in part to the groups living in separate parts of the vault. A chemical buildup beneath the vault caused its vent system to leak. Each group started to grow paranoid, suspecting that the other group had something to do with the leak. Sometime later, both groups left the vault. Aside from some paranoia, life in Vault 19 wasn't too bad. Number 4. Vault 101 Vault 101 is home to another psychological experiment, in which the Overseer is essentially a dictator. The vault was never intended to open, and would eventually succumb to inbreeding between its dwellers. However, it was given enough supplies to sustain itself nearly indefinitely, for several hundred years at least. Before the Great War, messages were recorded, which were played by the Overseer to convince the Vault 101 dwellers that the outside world was an uninhabitable wasteland and that the only hope of survival was inside the vault, despite several people leaving multiple times over the 200 year history of the vault. Sometime around 2258, an unnamed overseer turned the vault into a police state where the vault security carried out the overs of the overseer. During the events of Fallout 3, the fate of the vault is left in the hands of the lone wanderer. It can either open its doors and attempt to trade with nearby settlements, or close its door permanently, dooming the vault to a future of inbreeding and eventual death due to a lack of resources. Number 3. Vault 21 Vault 21 is special in that everything in the vault is equal, the people that lay out everything. The experiment within this vault is that arguments are settled via gambling and games of chance, like rolling dice. The vault is organized chaos, nobody has any advantage over anyone else. Of course, the inhabitants themselves were all compulsive gamblers who would join the vault without knowing what would really happen once they were inside. But there was no mass riot or food issues or a cloning machine gone awry. People lived relatively peaceful lives. However, that peace was short-lived as Mr. House wanted to claim the vault as part of his New Vegas empire at some point between 2271 and 2281. The vault dwellers, ever true to the nature of their vault, let the future of their vault rest within a game of blackjack. They lost, were forced to leave, and the vault was mostly destroyed, with the remains turning into a gift shop on the New Vegas Strip. Number 2. Vault 8 In a way, it's kind of unfair to include this vault on the list due to it being a control vault, meaning there was no experiment, but a vault's a vault. Vault 8 is simple, it housed around a thousand dwellers and opened 10 years after the Great War, as planned. The former dwellers then began the insurmountable task of rebuilding society, eventually turning Vault 8 into Vault City. It also became one of the most well-known medical centers in all of the wasteland. The only known problems with the Vault turned city are a result of time. Some of the doors don't function properly, and some objects rattle through the air vents. Number 1. Vault 81 Vault 81 is the only vault on this list that had a physical experiment. The vault's goal was to cure every illness known to man. Sounds good, right? Well, the dwellers were the test subjects. The vault was divided into two sections. One housed the subjects, and the other housed the scientists and doctors who would observe them. The medications were to be administered via hoses or nozzles hidden within the room of each dweller. Conveniently, in the event of a catastrophic event, the test subjects would all be incinerated using those same nozzles. Luckily for the vault dwellers, the overseer, shortly before the first batch of medication was to be administered, disabled the system that would pump the substances through the air vents killing the experiment in the process. The scientists still worked on a cure, they just used animals like mole rats as test subjects instead. There was also a modified Miss Nanny assigned to work with the scientists towards their goal. That Miss Nanny was named Curie, short for Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, and she accomplished her mission of curing every human illness in 2204. The vault dwellers were unaware of this, but nonetheless lived their lives in the vault eventually opening the door to trade resources with outsiders. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 5 video about the 5 happiest Fallout vaults. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. 
Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.